Hi, welcome to Soundstage 16. This is one of the largest sound stages in the world. It's the tallest sound stage in North America. So come on in and uh, we're going to check it out. This sound stage has 32,000 square feet of production area. It's six stories up and another three stories below where I'm standing, making it a total of about 98 feet tall inside. This soundstage has been around since the 1930s. In fact, this soundstage was the same height as all the other stages around it, uh, which was about 45 feet. But they were doing a movie here at the end of 1935 called Cain and Mabel. It was a musical with Marion Davies and Clark Gable. Now, Marion Davies was thoroughly convinced that the set wasn't big enough. She wanted it bigger. So she called Jack Warner and she said, take the roof off the stage and make it bigger so we have a bigger set and Jack wasn't about to give in to her demands, so she went home and complained to her boyfriend, who just happened to be William Randolph Hearst. And he called Jack, and Jack said, okay, you pay for it and we'll do it. And Hearst said yes. Uh, now, because of the shooting schedule in here, they didn't have the time to do the normal thing, which would just be, you know, rip the roof off and build it up. So they did something that today you probably couldn't do because it would be too dangerous. They surrounded the outside of this building with several hundred guys in hand jacks, like you jack up a car. And they put four big bass drums outside on each corner. And every time those guys would beat on the drum, everybody would crank the building up together in synchronization. When they got it about a foot off the ground, they put railroad ties underneath. Then they jacked it up another foot, and they kept crisscrossing the railroad ties till eventually this thing was standing at its current height, which is 98 feet, uh, but on big wooden legs in the middle of the air. And then they built the foundation very quickly underneath while it was up in the air, and Jack was a very happy studio head. He had the largest soundstage in the world for free. If we were to attempt to raise a soundstage today, I would guess it would cost about $3 million to do that. It would be done very similar as they did, except a little more sophisticated. I think what they would probably do is just build a new stage. This soundstage has been the home to all the old Busby Berkeley musicals of the 1930s and 40s. Uh, Busby Berkeley had his camera crew way up on those uh, catwalks up there and shoot the dancers straight down so they would make those great geometric patterns that you used to see in the musical. But it's an, a massive place. It looks like an airplane hangar. And we've actually had an airplane in here. We had a full-size 747 in here for executive decision with uh, Kurt Russell and Halle Berry. The soundstage has been used for so many huge uh, films over the years. The floor that we're standing on is completely removable, and it goes down another 25 feet from where we're standing. In fact, the entire inside of the soundstage can be flooded with water, and it can be turned into an ocean. That's where we had the Andrea Gale from Perfect Storm. The entire inside of the soundstage was wrapped with a blue screen, and computer-generated waves around the ship were all put in later. But the actual water hitting the ship, we had uh, dump tanks in the ceiling dumping thousands of gallons of water down chutes and then it would shoot out onto the ship. And the ship itself was mounted to a gimbal under the water so they could rock it back and forth. Uh, the last really big water movie we did in here was in 2006. We did the movie Poseidon with Kurt Russell and uh, Emmy Rossum. And they had an upside down ocean liner set in here. And then using the deep end, they built a seven story set here of the cruise liner's uh, lobby with a hanging elevator. The pirate ship from the Goonies. This was the giant cave with One-Eyed Willie's pirate ship. When the floor is in, we've done some amazing sets too. The, uh, the drag racing scenes from Rebel Without a Cause went right across the center of the stage. They built an entire park in here for the big Shibubi number from The Music Man. We had scenes from Giant with Rock Hudson and Elizabeth Taylor. Their house in Texas was built in here. The Bank Hotel and Casino from Ocean's 13 was built in here. They took up almost every inch of this soundstage. It was a four-story set. If you're a Batman fan, this is where Mr. Freeze was uh, trying to get Batman and the guys were ice skating uh, through the museum. And also in the second movie, Batman Returns, they built the entire center of Gotham here and they did the big Christmas tree lighting ceremony. This massive soundstage is just one of the things you might see when you visit the Warner Brothers VIP Studio Tour.